Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And can I start by echoing the comments of the, the shadow leader and my right honourable friend, the esteemed chair of the procedure committee, in calling for uh, action to be taken in the terms of Westminster Hall style debates. Um, can I ask for an assurance from the leader that when a, a appropriate, an appropriate alternative to physically sitting in Westminster Hall is presented to him, will he immediately act to produce a motion to resume in some shape or form following one of the alternatives that has been suggested? Um, we're almost a year on since we went into the, the first lockdown, Mr Speaker, and over that period there's been many support schemes have been announced by the government that have been very welcome and, and needed by so many. But we still see millions excluded by this government. So could I ask the leader if he would be able to bring forward a, a, a debate or a statement in government time to outline exactly why this government feels that these people are unworthy of support from the government, especially given the budget coming up. Now, Recently, my constituent Deborah Kayembe as its next re rector. Deborah is a, an esteemed uh, human rights lawyer, but Deborah is also a refugee and shows us the benefits that refugees can bring to each of our communities. In light of the Migration Advisory Committee saying it's time to review the government's anti family migration rules, can we have a debate in government time to consider the hugely positive contribution refugees make to each of our nations and to give hope? that perhaps some of the measures, such as the minimum income requirement, could actually be reviewed. Like the leader, uh, the shadow leader, I also welcome uh, the fact that today is International Day of Women and Girls in Science. And with Midlothian as a, a centre of scientific excellence, uh, does the leader agree that promoting careers in science for women benefit all of us? And will he ensure that time is allowed for the, by the government for us to celebrate this? And I would end, Mr. Speaker, by also joining with the leader and shadow leader and, and wishing all a very happy Chinese New Year. Speaker of the House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, and may I begin on a point of very strong agreement with the uh, honourable gentleman and thank him for the point he has made uh, that encouraging uh, women and girls to have careers in science is a thoroughly good thing, but we need more scientists generally for our future prosperity. Um, men and women are going to need to go into science, and we've seen the advantage of science uh, with the rollout of the vaccine programme. Uh, I also very much agree with him on the great contribution made to British society by refugees. This country has long been open to uh, refugees, going back many hundreds of years, and this has helped build and strengthen uh, our nation and will continue to do so in future. I can't promise him debates in government time on either question, but I must confess it is nice to find myself in agreement uh, with a member of the uh, SNP, which is a, a rare treat. Um, we're, also, we're also broadly in agreement on the issue of Westminster Hall, um, and I take it from what he was saying that he too thinks that it is proportionate to have extra members of staff coming onto the estate to reopen it in a hybrid fashion. If it is clear that that is the consensus of this House, I am more than willing to bring forward uh, the necessary motion. Um, as regards those people who haven't been supported, I think everyone has sympathy for those of our constituents who have not been supported. We have all been in correspondence with people who have difficult circumstances. The government has done as much as it reasonably can. The support offered is very large, £280 billion for the country at large. And this does does cover 95% of people who receive the majority of their income from self-employment. I accept it doesn't cover everybody. The difficulty is ensuring a scheme that is fair to taxpayers as well as fair to individuals. And I think my right honourable friend, the Chancellor, has got the balance right.